How to knit the textured cable stitch. English style. To download written instructions for this stitch pattern, visit newstitchaday.com slash K526. For this tutorial, you'll need the following materials. A pair of knitting needles, and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lion's Pride Wool Spun, available exclusively at Michael's Craft Stores, in the color Orchid. For this stitch you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, 3x3 three three seed cable, 3x3 three three reverse seed cable. To begin this stitch, you'll need to cast on in multiples of 16 plus 10. Row 1. Beginning on the wrong side of our work, we're going to start by knitting 2. Then we're going to purl 3. Then we'll knit one and purl one. Then we'll knit three. Now we're going to start our repeat by purling three. Then we'll knit one and purl one. Then we'll knit three. Then we're going to purl three. Then knit one, purl one, and knit three. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way, starting all the way across to the end of the row, starting with the purl three back over here. And as we finish up our last repeat, with the knit three, we can turn our work. Row two, we're going to start our repeat by purling two. So we're going to start with the purl stitch. So you want the working yarn in front of your working needle and we'll insert purl wise. Then just bring that yarn over and purl like normal. We'll do that again. Then we're going to knit one. and purl one. Then we'll knit four. Now we're going to purl two. And next we're going to do a 3x3 three three seed cable. So to do this, we're going to take a cable needle and we'll switch, uh, slip the next three stitches onto the cable needle. Like so. And then we're going to hold the cable needle in front of our work like this. Next we're going to knit the next three stitches from our main needle then we're going to knit the stitch first stitch from our cable needle then we'll purl the second stitch from our cable needle and we will knit the last stitch from our cable needle 
And that's going to finish our repeat. Okay, so we'll repeat this sequence till we reach the last 10 stitches in our row. We'll start with the purl 2. All right, so I'm finishing up the last repeat here with the 3x3 seed cable. We'll just put our cable needle off to the side. And we should be at the last 10 stitches in our row, so we'll start with a purl 2. Then a knit 1. And a purl 1. Then we'll knit 4. finish up by purling two. Okay, and then we can turn our work. Row three. We're going to begin by knitting two. Then we'll purl three. Then we'll knit one and purl one and then knit three. All right, then we're going to start our repeat by knitting one. Okay, and then we'll purl one. and knit one again. Then we're going to purl three. Then we'll knit two. And then purl three. Then we're going to knit one, purl one, and then knit three. All right, and that's going to end our repeat. So we're going to start our repeat again from the knit one and continue all the way across until the end of the row. And as we finish the last repeat of our row with a knit three, we can then turn our work. Row four, we're gonna begin by purling two. Then we're gonna knit one, and purl one. Then we're going to knit four, then we're going to purl two, and then knit four. And we are going to finish up our repeat by purling one and then knitting one. So we're going to repeat this sequence right here, starting with the purl two, all the way across until we reach the last 10 stitches in our row. All right, and as we finish up our repeat, will then be at our last 10 stitches. So we're going to start with a purl two. 
then we'll knit one, and then purl one, then we'll knit four, and we'll finish up by purling two. Then we can turn our work. Row five, we're gonna begin by knitting two. Okay, then we're gonna purl three. Then we're gonna knit one and purl one. And then we're gonna knit three. All right, now we're gonna start our repeat. And we're gonna do that with a knit one. Then we're gonna purl one. And then knit one. Then we're gonna purl three. And then knit two. Then we're gonna purl three. And knit one. Then purl one. And we'll finish up our repeat by knitting three. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row, starting with the knit one, purl one. And we're going to finish up our last repeat with the knit three, and then we can turn our work. Row six. We're going to start by our start our repeat by purling two. Then we're going to do a three by three seed cable. So again, we will take our cable needle here and we are going to slip the next three stitches onto the cable needle and we will hold that in front of our work. Then we will knit three stitches from our main needle. And then we will do a knit one from our cable needle. Then a purl one. And then a knit one. Okay, and then we can set our cable needle off to the side. Now we're gonna continue our repeat by purling two. Then we're gonna knit four. So we're going to repeat this sequence starting with the purl two all the way across until we reach the last 10 stitches in our row. And as we finish our last repeat with a knit one, we'll start with a purl two. Then we're going to do another three by three seed cable. So we'll grab our cable needle slip those three stitches and hold it in front. Then we're gonna knit three from our main needle. And then we're going to 
knit one, purl one, and knit one from the cable needle. We can set that off to the side. And we're going to finish up the row by purling two. Okay, then we can turn our work. Row seven, we're going to begin by knitting three. Then we're going to purl one. Then knit one. Then purl three. And then we'll knit two. Then we're going to start our repeat by knitting one. And then purling one and knitting one again. Then we're going to purl three, and then knit three, then we will purl one, and knit one, and then purl three, and we'll finish up our repeat by knitting two. All right, so we're going to repeat this sequence starting with the knit one all the way across until the end of the row. And we're going to finish up our last repeat by knitting two. And then we can turn our work. Row eight. We're going to start our repeat by purling two. Then we're going to knit four. Then we're going to purl one and knit one. Then we're going to purl two then knit four and we'll finish up our repeat by purling one and then knitting one. So we're going to repeat this sequence starting with the purl 2 all the way across until we reach the last 10 stitches in our row. And as we finish up our last repeat, we will purl 1 and then knit 1, and that should bring us to our last 10 stitches. So we will start that by purling 2, then we're going to knit 4. Then we're going to purl one, and then knit one, and we will finish up our row by purling two. Okay, and then we can turn our work. Row nine. We're going to begin by knitting three. Then we're going to purl one, and then knit one, then we're going to purl three. And then we're going to knit two, 
And now we're going to start our repeat. And the repeat will begin with a knit one, and then a purl one. Then we'll knit one. Then we're going to purl three. Then we're going to knit three. Then we're going to purl one. And then knit one. Then we'll purl three. And we'll finish up our repeat by knitting two. So we're going to repeat this sequence starting with the knit one all the way across until the end of the row. And we're going to finish up our last repeat by knitting two. And then we can turn our work. Row 10. We're going to start our repeat by purling two. Then we're going to knit three. And then purl one. And then knit one. And then we're going to purl three. Okay, then we're going to do a three by three reverse seed cable. So we're going to take our cable needle and slip the next three stitches onto the cable needle. And then we are going to hold that needle at front, okay, in front of our work. Then we're going to knit one from our main needle and then purl one from the main needle. And then we will knit one again from the main needle. Then we are going to knit all three stitches from our cable needle. So we're going to repeat this sequence starting with the purl two all the way across until you reach the last 10 stitches. And we're going to finish our last repeat with the knit from the seed cable. Okay, and we can just put our cable needle off to the side. That should leave us with the last 10 stitches in our row, so we're going to begin those by purling two. Then we're going to knit four. And then purl one. Then we'll knit one, and then we're going to purl two. And that will finish the row, and we can turn our work. Row 11. We're going to begin by knitting three. Then we're going to purl one. and then knit one, and then we're going to purl three. And then we will knit two, and that's going to begin us, get us to the beginning of our repeat. So we'll start our repeat by purling three. Then we're going to knit one, and then purl one. Then we're going to knit four. Then we'll purl one, knit one, 
Pearl 3. And we'll finish up our repeat by knitting two. Okay, so we'll repeat this sequence starting with the purl three all the way across till the end of the row. Yeah. All right, when we get to the last part of our repeat, we will knit two and then we can turn our work. Row 12. We're going to begin our repeat by purling two. Then we're going to knit four. And then we're going to purl one. Okay, then we will knit one and then purl two. And then we will knit one again and purl one. And then we will knit four. And that's going to finish up our repeat. So we're going to repeat this sequence starting with the purl two all the way across until we reach the last 10 stitches in our row. All right, and as we get to the end of our last repeat, we'll finish up that knit four. That will bring us to the last 10 stitches in our row. So we'll start the end by purling two. Then we're gonna knit four. Then we will purl one. And then knit one and then we will purl two. And that will finish up our row so we can turn our work. Row 13, we're gonna begin by knitting three. Then we're gonna purl one And then knit one. Then we're going to purl three. And then we will knit two. And that's going to bring us to our repeat. We're going to start the repeat by purling three. Okay, then we're going to knit one and purl one. Then we're going to knit four. Okay, then we're going to purl one and then knit one. And then we're going to purl three. And we'll finish up the repeat by knitting two. So we're going to repeat this sequence starting with the purl three all the way across until the end of the row. And we'll finish up our last repeat by knitting two. And then we can turn our work. Row 14. We're going to begin by our repeat by purling two. Then we're going to do a three by three reverse seed cable. So take our cable needle and slip the next three stitches onto the cable needle and hold that in front. Then we're going to knit one from our main needle and then purl one. and then knit one again. Okay, 
then we're going to knit three from our cable needle. Okay, we'll put our cable needle off to the side. We'll finish up our repeat by purling three. Then we're going to knit one and purl one and then knit three. Okay, that will finish up our repeat. So we'll continue repeating this sequence starting with the purl two all the way across until we reach the last 10 stitches in our row. All right, and we will finish up uh, our last repeat by knitting two. That should bring us to, uh, I'm sorry, knitting three. And then that should bring us to the last 10 stitches in our row. So we are going to finish the row by purling two then we're going to do another 3x3 three three seed cable. So take your cable needle, slip those three stitches onto it and hold that cable needle in front of your work. Then we're going to do a knit one from the main needle and then a purl one and then a knit one. All right, and then my stitch dropped off of my cable needle there, so we'll just slip that back on and then knit each of the three stitches from the cable needle. And we can set that off to the side. And we'll finish up the row by purling two. And then we can turn our work. Row 15, we're going to begin by knitting two. Then we're going to purl three. Next we're going to knit one and then purl one. And we're going to finish up by, or we're going to knit three. And this is going to bring us to our repeat. So the repeat will begin by purling three. Then we're gonna knit one and purl one. Then we'll knit three and purl three. Then we'll knit one and purl one and we'll finish up the repeat by knitting three. All right, so we're going to continue repeating this sequence starting with the purl three all the way across until the end of the row. And when we reach the last repeat, we'll finish by knitting three, and then we can turn our work. Row 16. We're going to start our repeat by purling two. Then we're going to knit one and purl one. Then we'll knit four. Then we're going to purl two. And then knit one. Then we'll purl one and knit four. And that will finish up our repeat. So we're going to repeat this sequence starting with the purl two all the way across until we reach the last 10 stitches in our row.
All right, and when we finish our last repeat with our knit four, we're going to come to the last 10 stitches of our row, so we will finish by purling two, then knitting one, then we're going to purl one, and knit four, and we're going to finish our row by purling two. Okay, then we can turn our work. So we're going to repeat rows 1 through 16 until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you knit the textured cable stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Hey, I'm Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day and your teacher for this tutorial. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to learn from us. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, we produce new content every single day. Hence, new stitch a day. You can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss a single stitch. And if you click one of the links to the side here, you can see the previous stitch in our series or the next stitch in our series. And if you click this link, you'll be able to see one of my favorites. And don't forget, you can also download a PDF with the written instructions for this tutorial by clicking or using the URL link that's on the screen. Again, I want to thank you so much for learning with us, and I hope that we've helped make your knitting and crochet skills a little bit better today. Yarn on!